is going on, everyone? It's your guy, Cole Jackson, back here on Road Graders, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Baltimore Ravens pass rush duo, the current starters with the injuries, Jadavian Clowney and Kyle Van Noy. Very interesting week from these two. If you guys were excited about the pass rush, excited about some of the sack opportunities, um, we'll call them the almost brothers. We'll get into that here in a minute. Um, if, the, if that got you pumped up, though, to see some pressure from the Ravens defense, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you guys are new here. I had about 80% of my viewers yesterday be not subscribed. So hit subscribe, join me. I'll be dropping content like this all year round. And so looking at... The pressures by the Ravens' defense, obviously 10 combined from Clowney and Van Noy. What's so impressive about Van Noy is, I'll underline it for you, 15 pass rush snaps resulted in four pressures, and the rest of them looked pretty good. He looked uh, he looked fresh, he looked ready to go, very versatile, able to drop in coverage, do a lot of the things that were missing from Tyus Bowser. Really good compliment to Jadavion Clowney in the rush linebacker role. Um, I'm going to just kind of talk through some of my impressions. Well, uh, I'll let the clips play. You guys can just watch, and then we'll obviously come back and break them down. But uh, I think what I'm seeing from these guys that made me the most impressed is just... Their ability to be disruptive and to win pass rush battles both have a decently high pass rush win rate, um, which is great to see because they're winning on their opportunities and they're creating for guys around them. And I think that's one of the big things with, um, you know, obviously we want to see sacks. We, Jadavion Clowney would have five if he finished um, his missed tackles on sack opportunities like the one right there. And uh, I th it's frustrating, like, and I get it, but they are generating pressure they're creating opportunities for other guys, and that's important as well. Um, so it's one of those things where if the tackles come, those sacks come, right? So um, very exciting stuff, and uh, you know I think it's just nice to see the Ravens have a pass rush. Um, they're 15th in sacks in the league, but a lot of that's obviously coming from the linebackers, the safeties, the way um, they're being used essentially as Swiss Army knives. Um, to go at the to go at the offensive line. So let's go through the clips here. Um, we're gonna start with Kyle Van Noy's pressures in this game. He's gonna be on the right side of your screen here. Really like how he uses a bit of a ghost hand here um, to bend that edge and good bend from him as well. So right where I want to pause and focus here is he gets that hand up. It's it's a bit of a ghost hand in the sense that he was trying to get um, his hands to react. Uh, sorry, Dewan Jones hands to react and by doing so with the burst up the up the line of scrimmage he's got jones turned this way very early you can kind of see um that was a jagged line you can kind of see the line here so that's obviously way too early for a tackle so that's just kind of that burst up and then right there that ability to dip under against a taller offensive lineman um unfortunately thompson robinson saw it and uh, DTR was able to get out there. Um, if he doesn't see that and do that crazy step up, play it through live there. That's a pretty crazy step up. He basically hop steps forward. That's an easy sack opportunity. So that's just a mobile quarterback um, evading. But you can kind of see nice little dip there to get around. Now we're going to have Van Noy on the left side of your screen. And we're going to see nice little in cut there on the stunt. So you're going to get um, the knife here from... Uh, from Matabike, he's going to split this really well, occupy two blockers, and Van Noy is just going to work around right like that, up, and pressure, basically a QB hit. Um, so just, you know, good explosiveness, good lateral movement there. Here, I love this snap. This is against a massive man of a tackle in Jones, and you're going to see inside hand placement. You can see it perfectly right there. Those hands are right inside, and he's just going to drive them right back into the quarterback. Um, what excites me about this, and you see DTR actually almost hits the ground there, um, just from the force, is he's able to mix up a set, right? He's more of a finesse rusher, but he's able to get inside and convert speed to power and, uh, and, and drive his guy. So, you know, we've seen him bend, we've seen him stunt, we've seen him with a power rush move. So that's a pretty complete tool, uh, toolkit there for Kyle Van Noy. And then here, good awareness on the ball to tip it up, um, Really good play design here. You're going to see Patrick Queen leak up. Uh, and as he comes, Jones makes the right decision. you got to go inside, man. Well, I would debate this, actually, just because of how delayed it was. Um, I think DTR would probably see this get the ball out. 
Um, but nonetheless, he's got to pick one of the guys. One of them's going to get pressure. Um, and Kyle Van Noy gets his hands up on the ball. Just a vet play there to come up. Boom, hands on the ball. Um, nice and disruptive. And now I think, yeah, we get into some some uh, Clowney snaps here. Uh, Clowney's opposite Van Noy on this, but we're going to take a look at him on the right side of your screen. And he's just going to do what he's done so well this year. He's going to set outside, get Jedrick Wills out in space, and then he's going to use that right hand to go over with the swim move. Explosive, coming up, getting disruptive. Love it. Kyle Van Noy with a nice move on his side too. Kind of working his guy back into the pocket, making that pocket collapse. So good rushes from both of those guys. Clowney on the right side of your screen here. He gets chipped. How does he not make that tackle? Oh, man, it kills us. Um, but basically what we saw from KVN and Mad, so Urban's going to knife. Um, right up here, occupy both blockers. As he does, left guard doesn't catch Clowney. Clowney with that explosiveness and just... Ugh, can't make the tackle, spins him right into the throw, DTR gets it out. Um, really nice really nice evasion there for DTR. Um, Clowney here, doing really good work, love this play. Love his movement, it's skipping, sorry, the video quality on some of these clip-ups is crap. So you're going to see him, he's aligned here, right off his first step. He gets right inside, starts to attack and kind of short corner him. And then, boom, gets his hands out of the way. So this was just a good good movement here to uh, a line outside, take that inside step to get here, and essentially force his uh, vertical set to stop because he's basically showing an inside move, but then he comes back out around. So as soon as he gets to this point, he throws those hands away. And then another should have been sack there. Should have been sacked. So that'd be two through this. DTR escapes, throws the ball away. Um, enough to disrupt, though, right? That's been Cleone's claim to fame here, disruption. You know, he ruined this pass play. Forced to scramble to the left side. Nobody's there. Has to throw it away. So obviously still very effective. That's why sacks are important, and I love sacks, but obviously... No, pause. Um, but I'd love to see um, finishing... But obviously, it's still negatively impacting pass plays here. Clowney's going to get upfield on this one. Love the knife here. Love the second effort. Chasing, chasing. Ball's knocked out. Can't tell if the ball was knocked out or if it fell out. It looks like he tries to cock it and he lets it go. Um, but nonetheless, let's take a look at the, at the pass rush move. So he's going to be lined up on the left side of your screen against the left tackle again. And he does that inside move again. He just squares him up can't really see it but he actually uses his left hand to scoop inside while he brings that right hand over right there actually you can see it so there you can see his left hand scooping as he creates that space um so obviously matabike on the opposite side that's pressures for both of them he evades but Clowney's second effort forces him out ball drops they the browns jump on it but again you know pressure no sack but creating negative pass rush of or negative passing events for the Cleveland Browns and then this is still the bend that he has and again just mobile quarterback that can evade Broderick Jones or <laughs> Broderick Jones I'm thinking of the Steelers already guys um Joe or <laughs> Jones tries to get out with a quick set you see him get right out there on Clowney Clowney acknowledges it and look what he does here works upfield takes those vertical sets up and continues to work before dipping in and getting around Jones ends up on the ground so good awareness to see the quick set come get around the corner have enough bend to turn there but again just that's good evasion a little bit of a hold here on Michael Pierce watch Teller on Michael Pierce as Pierce tries to go outside you can see that hold there that's a hold to oh the, the flag did come in sorry that is a hold <laughs> okay good call refs um and then I think we got one more here from Clowney, rushing from the inside. <laughs> I don't know why I clipped this one. Not, not that great of a rep. He's going against the inside guy with Harrison outside of him. Gets pushed around a little bit there. 
Um, but actually does a really nice job at the end of closing on the throw. You can kind of see as DTR throws it, he starts to lean out to his left. So I would say that's enough to cause a little bit of a disruption. It goes right into the hands um, of Geno Stone, second straight week. Um, rare to see him get pushed like that right off, but good recovery, getting up there for the pressure. So that's all I have for you guys today. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.